In this demo, we're going to recover data using a recover database. We're going to create the database, restore data to the recovery database, and then create a mailbox restore request. We'll start off in Outlook Web Access. Beth is going to sign in and she has received a message from Adam. For whatever reason, she has chosen to delete the message from Adam. And apparently, she's not satisfied with that. She's going to go to the deleted items folder and empty the folder. Still not uh, completely satisfied. She's going to recover that item from the deleted items folder. And there it is. So this time, she's going to select Purge, which makes it unrecoverable. So that item is lost and gone forever. Or is it? Beth decides maybe she didn't want to delete that message from Adam after all. So she wants to recover that data from her database. We're going to create a restore folder to host the recovery database we're going to build. We go into Windows Server Backup, select the backup that's located elsewhere, and we'll point to the location containing the backup specify remote shared folder and go to it's on DC1 in the backup folder we'll select the backup there's only one in there pretty easy to do we want to recover application data specifically exchange data and we do not want to perform a roll forward recovery of the application databases. We're going to recover to the location we just created, the recovery or the restore database on the C drive. running the restore process and very shortly everything will be successfully restored this is real time okay now let's segue over to the exchange management shell We'll run get mailbox database against mailbox database one. We're looking specifically for the globally unique ID. We're going to need that for the restore process. And there is our globally unique ID. We could write it down, but just as easily, we can run the exact same command. This time, we're going to pipe it to out file and we're going to save it as a text file. Now let's run a new mailbox database. We're taking that to GUID information and placing that into the two uh, paths, the database path and the log file path. We're restarting the Exchange Information Store service. We're doing a change directory to the restore folder. We're running ESEUtil, and that uh, completed very quickly for us. Now we're mounting our recovery database. Let's retrieve some mailbox statistics, and specifically we're looking for Beth and her information that we want to restore. So we're going to create a new mailbox restore request, specifically uh, targeting Beth's mailbox. And initially, once we run that, it 
It's going to show a status of queued. And then we're going to run a series of get mailbox restore request commands. First time we run it, it's going to give us a status of in progress. And it's going to continue to give us in progress, in progress, in progress until it finally returns a status of completed. In real time, that took a lot longer than this demo would indicate. So now let's go back to Outlook. We'll have Beth log on and see if her message from Adam was restored and it was just as if nothing had happened. Another successful demo. See you next time.